It's uh, 8.56 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, 6.20, Lots of 20s. I'm very tired. I don't even feel like I have the energy to talk. I've been seeing so much things online, looking at things, and the past few days I felt like I just had to sort of shut things off and get out and go away for a little while and get away. Um, there's so much happening, or seemingly happening, but yes, happening, no matter how you look at it. I'm only here to just say a few quick things about things, and I might come back and do several other videos. I don't know if I'll get to them tonight or tomorrow, but I just thought it's important again to mention the fact that the video types of videos I've been doing it anymore lately is I'm not doing it for hype, you know, or to bring uh, worry or to make others unpeaceful. And also very important to say that if I mention other channels or put them, post them that I show, it doesn't mean at all that I support them or that I believe what they're saying or that I watch them or any such thing. So I think it's important to make that clear, you know. It, basically, it's just for informational purposes. If I find things that I think are important informationally that relate to Bible prophecy, that that's why I'm putting them up there, really. That's the only reason. I mean, they have their own opinions, you know. I'm not saying it's mine whatsoever or their spiritual beliefs, so, you know, keep that in mind, please. And, you know, don't assume maybe that they're a Christian when they may be totally the opposite or... You know, might not even believe in the rapture or that it's not going to be pre-trib or whatever and have a diff totally different frame of mind and uh, attitude towards, you know, how to react and what, to, what the attitude is toward everything that's going on. Uh, another thing that just happened to me is as I was out fairly far away, as I explained in previous videos, I go, you know, to shopping centers or whatever major uh, shopping stores. And I mentioned in a previous video that I talked to these kids, you know, about Bible prophecy and the Bible and how to be saved, what's happening now in the corona situation. Uh, that was, I guess, last week. So I went up there a few other times, and today I went also, and I thought, well, you know, if I was going to see those kids again. And so I was like on the sidewalk of the stores. I was going that way, and I saw somebody pass. And I thought, is that is that the one, the one kid? And um, so I kept going. I turned around, then I to look. Then I turned back, and I went to ride up further. And uh, the same person passed me, like in the middle of the sidewalk. And uh, I said, I th I think that's the the one kid. And uh, I went slow. I slowed down, and it seemed like he almost cut me off and went off the sidewalk onto the, you know, drive driveway or whatever pathway where cars go. And uh, he was close to me. And obviously, I, I he, he knew who I was because he knew my bike and everything. He said to me, that's a nice bike in the past. And I've seen him many times, you know. Anyway, like he swung really close to me and he didn't look at me. He was sort of looking down and he was, he was go went the other way, but I saw it looked like he had a cross, a cross chain on him, you know, a cross on his neck, wearing that on a chain. And I thought to myself, after thinking about that, I said, maybe he wanted me to see that. Like he did that purposely. He wanted to go close to me to show me that he had a cross on. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, then I sort of riding around in the parking lot a little bit and then a few minutes later I saw him go by like up the drive up the way the exit and and he left onto the main like sort of I guess highway you could call it now just to briefly touch upon like what's going on I don't know what these marches or whatever you want to call them these gatherings are supposed to be happening I guess today and t or tomorrow during the uh, eclipse again you know these things are probably almost definitely fabricated and, and uh, you know, staged, whatever. But what I heard, like what's going on, I guess it's Seattle. They, whoever, Antifa, Antifa, or whoever, 
put the American flag on the statue of George Washington and set it on fire. And the other thing I wanted to say about this with um, statues is that, like, it's, the, the, it's said that they're going to take the statues down and replace them with, uh, like, Luciferian statues. Well, someone had mentioned that that's like a thing that, like, is done when, let's say, a regime change or someone, um, you know, conquers someone or takes control like of another country or another region they topple the uh, statues and they put up new statues you know so it's like symbolic of new world order takeover sort of like staking the flag in the ground of this country and claiming it now um, you know sort of that type of thing going on Compar comparatively, I guess. Then, of course, there's the, the Trump rally. Uh, actually, I just stopped this video and I went to go see. I just realized that he was... This uh, rally is live now, right in the middle of this. Again, what is it? It's 9.17 p.m. here. Um, so, really, I haven't checked the news all day, really, to see if any kind of thing, other things are going on with this rally or what have you. So I guess so far, you know, nothing major has happened. Um, so, and then tomorrow, again with the solar eclipse, and then there's supposed to be maybe these individuals, whoever, marching or what have you with these statues. But it, my point is, it's not necessarily, you know, looking for this event or that thing to happen, but that we're in the midst of, of this, things have been set off we're in the it's in progress um you know so whatever happens it's just a continuation in whatever form or degree you know which seems like it'll just get worse and worse heading toward the beginning of the tribulation and of course the rapture to occur before that so then i heard some crazy thing that there's this big plume gigantic patch or whatever of dirt whatever coming from africa over the atlantic large area heading i guess towards the gulf coast like louisiana whatever texas i think it was you know those, those states the southern gulf states um really crazy things so wherever it reaches to you know if that's only the area or it could maybe even go into other areas I don't know but um, seems really bizarre how something like that could carry that far it's just dirt you know from Africa I mean it had to be some big breeze or whatever to bring that up in the atmosphere to carry it like that you know so that's kind of an interesting thing next week to see what would happen with that then there's this book by Bolton uh, John Bolton, who's supposed to come out with this book, which is sort of going to reveal a lot of things supposedly about Trump, you know, maybe some things were previously classified and, and whatnot that he supposedly has firsthand information of that might, uh, you know, create a lot of problems and trouble and uh, uh, yet another kind of crisis, you know, happening suddenly out of the blue now this week this coming week on top of everything else and there's sort of other kind of i don't know ominous or you know dangerous thing going on like with the un possibly wanting to get involved you know with things going on in this country having authority and also i think it was something that they supported blm black lives matter or something i don't know but that's like sort of a possi possible play in this now, getting their, uh, you know, uh, tentacles in, in this country. And then also with the George Floyd, the family, um, their high-profile lawyer, again, they want to pe petition the UN to have authority in this situation. So, of course, there's a, an election looming in November. So depending on what occurs... These are just other things, you know, coming up the hill on the horizon, 
you know. Um, I guess that's all I should say right now, trying to keep this short. Just said those few things, and there's a lot of other things, information that I would, you know, wanted to uh, do videos on, which I, which I might do. Uh, I won't mention that right now, what they are, but it's a lot of different things. Um, yeah, and some spiritual now. I haven't been doing really anything, you know, like I said, with doctrines or teachings or those type of things per se. Although in my last video, I, I did get into that grace, you know, the grace issue and so on. And uh, I might touch upon things going on out there in the spiritual land of YouTube, you know, in the grace channels, things that are happening. Um, <coughs> so regardless of anything happens this weekend or not, it's good if it doesn't. <laughs> I mean... You know, who wants anything bad to happen? But then, uh, you know, heading into next week and the hereafter. Um, so there's just things on the horizon. Seemingly Bible prophecy is we're right on the verge of this. We're right in the midst of it. Things are happening, you know. And of course, they're hyping this second wave, so-called second wave or resurgence of this pandemic, you know, this is going around now saying that's what's in the process and it's here. So you never know what's going to happen next or seem to be happening. Um, this coming week, as again, as I say, likely to have Trump majorly in the news, um, possibly a lot of political turmoil and things happening, maybe quickly with this too. You know, to to bring about even more destabilization and uh, political crisis. So, anyway, what can we do? We could share, you know, videos, information to those who may not even be believers. Maybe send them links or whatever and ask them to look at certain videos, who, whoever they are from, um, you know, about all these things. Hopefully open their eyes, especially with prophetic things and how to be saved, you know, and the rapture, those type of things, uh, especially before it might be too late to even be able to get certain information out without being, you know, taken down, not allowed to be spoken in censorship. So keep that in mind, too. Okay, that concludes this episode here. I'll see about getting some other stuff out. It's... It's not quite 10 o'clock, so I'll see if I could get a few things up, short things, after this. If not, I'll try to get things up tomorrow and see what happens with all the craziness and looniness, you know, this weekend. All right, that's it. Take care. See you later. Bye.